Hey there, Darren Garman here, and welcome to this episode of the Heartland Multifamily Show, the place, the place for all things multifamily. Now, I'm excited about this episode because I'm going to tell you, yes, you, how you can get more money, 20, maybe even 30% more, when you sell your multifamily property in a high interest rate environment. I'm going to reveal to you right now in this episode how you can do that even when rates are 10%, 15%, 18%. I'm going to tell you how you, compared to many others that are going to sell, are going to get 15, 25, maybe even 30% more in pricing on your properties if you decide to sell in a high interest rate environment. And we're going to cover how you do that exactly right now. Welcome to the Heartland Multifamily Show, the shorter, more profitable path to multifamily ownership and investing. All right, thank you for joining me on this episode because, you know, with high interest rate environments, a lot of people think they're stuck. A lot of people think, you know, I might not be able to sell my property or maybe I have to take a hit. I'm not going to be able to sell it for much of a price or really what I'm thinking I'd like to get out of it. Now, before you put yourself in that box, you're going to watch this entire episode because I'm going to tell you I can get a hell of a lot more for your multifamily property, even in a high interest rate environment. But before I get into this episode, do me a favor. If what I talk about with you on this episode resonates with you, click that subscribe button below. I would love to have you join our Heartland Multifamily Show family. It'd be awesome. So click that subscribe button. And in addition, leave a comment. I would love to hear your feedback on what I'm covering on this episode. So make sure you leave a comment for me. I would love to respond to what you have to say. All right. So Darren, hey, I want to get a lot of money for my multifamily property. I I need to sell. I want to sell. But here's the problem. Interest rates are high. And I know in high interest rate environments, I'm going to take a hit on my pricing, on my sales price, mainly because buyers, investors, when they go to get financing, the higher that financing cost, the less I'm going to get for my property. I mean, if interest rates are 12%, I'm going to get less for my property if I decide to sell in that 12% environment versus if they're at 4%. That's exactly true. And you're right about that. But let's talk about how you can battle that, fight through that, and get 20, even 30% more when it comes time to sell your multifamily property. There's really two ways to do it. Now, we could cover many, many different areas and many, many different ways, but I want to focus on this episode on the two main ways that you can do it. Okay, let's start with number one. Number one is provide owner financing. Provide owner financing for at least 75 to 80 percent of the purchase price of the property. Okay, Darren, why in the heck would I want to provide owner financing? I want to get cashed out here. I want cash. I want it now. Would you rather have all your cash now, or would you rather have 20 to 30 percent more in price if you took that sale maybe over? three years, over five years. Think about how much more money you could make by taking it over maybe a period of just a few years versus all at once. How do you do that? By doing owner financing or you as the owner providing the financing for 75 to 80% of the purchase price at an interest rate much lower than what the market interest rate is. Let's use an example. Let's say you've got a million dollar property, right? Or you want to get a million dollars out of your apartment community. Let's go ahead and let's use that as an example. Okay, but rates right now are at 11%. Okay, rates are at 11%. And you look at what rates are, you'd really love to get a million dollars for it. But, you know, if you factor in what rates are, more than likely, no one's going to pay more than $700,000, $750,000 for your property. Okay, and you're really leaving $200,000 to $250,000 on the table just because interest rates are high. Now, to me, that sounds like a bad reason to leave $200,000 on the table. In this example, doesn't it? Aren't you the same? Doesn't it sound bad to you? 
I hope it does. Because here's how you get that $200,000 to $250,000 back in your pocket. You provide the financing. So if rates are at 7%, go ahead and finance the purchase, 75 to 80% of that purchase price at 6 or 7% interest. What does that do? That allows the buyer to pay more for your property because the buyer is borrowing from you at 6 to 7%, almost 50% less in interest or almost 100% less in interest than if they went to a bank or credit union or got agency financing. Why? Because that buyer can now afford to pay more for your property because their loan payments are less, right? Their loan payments are less. So how do you get 20 to 30% more for your property in a high interest rate environment? Simply finance 75 to 80% of that purchase price at an interest rate 6 to 7% or maybe 4 to 5% lower than where prevailing interest rates are now, if you're able to do that. What do you get out of that? You get a higher purchase price, you get a faster sale, and you continue to get income coming in monthly because now instead of cash flow from rents coming to you, you're getting monthly loan payments. And by the way, five, six, seven percent, that's not bad. You're getting a decent return on your money, you're getting income coming in month after month, and you get a higher price for your property. The alternative is you sell for all cash and you take a $200,000 hit. What sounds better to you? Now, there's no wrong answer to that question, but I don't know about you, but if I could sell over time, three, five, six years, I'd rather get $250,000 more by providing the financing to an investor versus getting all my cash right now. That's if I can do that. You've got to consider that and you've got to be creative. Number one, you want to get 20 to 30% more for your multifamily property like that at the closing table? Do the financing. Provide the financing at a rate anywhere from 4 to 6% less than what the prevailing interest rates are. If you can, and you'll see that amount of sales price go up and up and up and up. All right? That's number one. You do the financing for 75 to 80% of the purchase price. Number two. All right, we're going to take a quick break. I hope you're enjoying this episode. I'm going to be having a free webinar coming up. The link's below on how to correctly and with low risk invest your IRA or 401k in really good multifamily properties. A majority of our investors do this. I do this personally. It's not illegal. Make sure you click the link below. We'd love to have you. Number two is you provide some financing, but only on part of the sales price. Okay? So in my last example, I basically said for 80%, 75 to 80% of your purchase price, you do the financing at let's say 5%, 6%, or 7%. The other way to do it is maybe you don't want to do 75 to 80%. How about 50%? How about you provide 50% of the financing at 5%, 6%, okay? So now maybe you don't do a large chunk, but you do a smaller chunk at a smaller, lower interest rate for a period of time. What happens when you do this? Well, you get a little bit more cash at closing and you get a higher sales price, a higher sales price. So what this provides you is more money in your pocket at closing, a higher sales price, and you still get money paid to you over time by providing not 75 to 80% financing, but maybe 50% of the financing, maybe 60% of the financing. Let me give you an example. A few years ago, uh, a handful of investors and I purchased a 168 unit apartment community using this strategy, using this strategy, okay? So between us, we had 40% of the purchase price in cash, ready to go, all right? But the seller, they really wanted to get a certain price for the property and came back to us and said, you know, guys, we really want to sell it for this much money. So we went back and forth with them on a cash producing offer, okay? And at the end of the day, we just couldn't come up to that price point, that price level that they wanted for that cash producing offer. But then they came back to us and they said, hey, look, 
How about if we do the financing? We'll do the financing at 2.5% less than what you can borrow from the bank. But now, and here's where our sales price is going to be, which was at that time about $300,000 more than what we were willing to pay. We ran the numbers. It made sense. We purchased that property, and we've owned that property for many, many years, and we're happy to purchase it. Happy we did it that way. So that's number two, is provide financing, but not a large amount, not 75, not 80%, maybe 50% of the purchase price, you'll do the financing. 60%, you'll do the financing, okay? If you use one of those two ways, again, way number one in getting 20 to 30% more in your sales price at closing, is you finance 75 to 80% of the purchase price at rates anywhere from two, 3%, even 4% less than what prevailing rates are. If you can do that, man, getting hundreds of thousands or even millions of dollars more in sales price over time can be a huge and even much bigger payday even when interest rates are high. So that's number one. Number two is maybe you don't go 75% or 80%. Maybe you go 50%, 60%. You're gonna maybe get a little less in sales price, but you're going to get more in sales price. You're getting a little bit more cash at closing and you're going to be able to sell in a high interest rate environment at a price that will probably be acceptable to you. Now, we could go into nine different creative ways, seven different other creative. We could really get into the weeds on this. But in this episode, I wanted to get, get you to be a little bit creative and understand two main things. Number one, you can sell for high prices in a high interest rate environment. Why? Because number two, if you're willing to be creative, you're willing to maybe participate in being creative, you're gonna find yourself getting 20 to 30% or even more in sales price for your multi-family property. Look, I'd love to hear your comments on this. We'd love to hear your feedback. Again, if you like what I've talked about here on this episode, make sure you click the subscribe button.